Write down this success rule. Trust me. If you want to be badass, here you go. Number one, surround yourself only with badasses or number two, people who are on their way to becoming badasses. They're not yet, but you see the twinkle in their eye. They see the potential. But remember, these two only work if you follow the third one. Be a badass yourself because you can't be judging people if you're not a badass already or on your way to becoming a badass. Now, this is a tough rule because to implement it sometimes feels a little bit harsh. You got to start <clears throat> and people do it wrong. Some people do it wrong. So they, they look around them and this is primarily for friends and family. Okay. It could also applies to coworkers and things like that, business partners, acquaintances, but where you go wrong with this is you instantly find some people that have been close to you, old friends, family members, and you cut them out completely. You don't have to do that. Remember what the rule says is spend time. So time is incremental, meaning you can just reduce the time that you spend with people that aren't badasses. But you gotta do this. Now, I gave you those three principles. You could put them in reverse order, number three, which is be a badass yourself. You'll have no credibility calling people out if you aren't badass, then you want to judge yourself even more critically than other people, more harshly, because um, Rush will come off like a hypocrite. What's going on here? Got lots of people. What are you guys working on? Lots Get of some fun work stuff. done. Lots of fun stuff. Are you going to go meet oh, me outside? Hey. Look at those glasses. <laughs> Do you like your glasses? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so wh whenever I follow this rule, well, life starts to be amazing. Whenever I start to um, compromise and let quality decrease, it comes back to bite me in the butt. So what I try to do mentally is rank where I am one to 10. And then let's say I'm at seven or something like that. Focus on myself first, bump it up. Then I start evaluating people around me. Now I have a lot of employees, so I do it with employees. And I say, you know, work for me. You're either a badass already, or I could see it potential in your eye. Or else I'm gonna waste my time trying to work on you, you know, improve your business skills. You gotta do the same thing. Family's the hardest, but oftentimes the most necessary. Remember, you probably have a big family, so you can pick or choose and spend more time around the people who pass this one, two, three test, and less time. Doesn't mean you have to cut everybody out completely. You don't have to excommunicate them. I lived with the Amish for two and a half years. They have something called excommunication. You don't always have to do that. But uh, you do need to say, the quality of my life is determined by the quality of my surroundings. So, get, oh, I'm gonna get my hair, haircut here. Here, can I do that last? Who do you look like? Who does everybody say you look like for all the YouTubers? Jenna Marbles is here to cut my hair. Not really, it's not Jenna, but it looks kind of like it. I'll, I'll be back, I'll be back in a few. Um, I got lots going on at the house, Knowledge Society headquarters. Try to keep it active. People say, Ty, what the hell do you do? So much is going on, I'm like, yep, I don't like to be bored or boring. So we got a live call. If you're not coming on the daily live calls, you're missing out. I had a dude selling $2.7 million worth of shirts. Uh, the biggest guy, uh, one of the biggest app guys who built an app. I got chair massage going here. Adrian, oh. you got a tough life, man. Oh. Tough life to work for me, huh? This knot is ridiculous. What would Arnold Schwarzenegger say? Ah, get this knot out to me now. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is going on. Let's see what Anton's doing. Anton, what's the today's live call about? Reaching success, are you kidding me? Reaching success, we got all the cameras going, streaming to 72 countries. Yeah, you can check that out on Ty Lope. I won't, hello everybody, what's up? Somebody said, how much is Ty paying you? <laughs> nosy, right. we got Nosy McNoster over here. All right, going up. <clears throat> My cousin came in town, she's a pro soccer player. Where's Christina? Hey Christina. Come up here. Hey, Nathan. Nathan. Jeff. 
Bring me my portable charger. This is about to die while I'm recording. Christina. Tell her to come down. Sorry. I'm gonna start vlogging more. I got my garden going. Oh shit. We got the garden going. What's up? Are you playing soccer or doing yoga? I'm both. You got them soccer skills? Got the garden going. I tilled up over here. They were helping me till up over here. Get this bad boy rock and rolling. Hey, Christina, come show us some. Let Christina dribble for a second. Christina, my cousin, just got drafted by the Orlando Pride. So, let's see. What's up? Can you show us? Show a little one take. Uh oh. Uh oh. Peanut butter jelly time. Oh! One take, baby. <laughs>